My name is Jason Owens, and I am going to measure the speed of light in gelatin. So light bends when it goes from one medium to another medium. Let's take water, for example. When the light shines down, it won't go straight. It will bend, or it'll refract. Now, to see how much it'll refract, let's draw an imaginary perpendicular line. But now, we want this angle, which is the incident angle. We also want the angle of refraction. With these two angles, we can actually measure the speed of light in water. But, as you already know, we're not measuring the speed of light in water. We're measuring the speed of light in gelatin. This represents our surface line. Down here represents the air. Up here represents the gelatin. Now, if we shine it through here, it goes straight on the paper. But when you put the gelatin on, it goes on this new refracted line. On to the mathematics! We need to use something called Snell's Law. Snell's Law is a formula used to describe the relationship between the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction when light passes through a particular medium. Now, to put this in kind of plain mathematics, let's apply this formula to our equation. This is the original formula, but we replaced 1 and 2 with air and gelatin, because that's what we want to find out. Then, we filled in our new equation. The refraction index of air times sine of 45 degrees, our incident angle, equals the refraction index of gelatin, which is what we want to find out, times sine of 34 degrees. There, we can finally figure out the answer, because we know the refraction index. Now, we know that the refraction index equals the constant speed of light divided over the, the speed of light in our new medium. The speed of light is 300 million meters per second. Now we divide that by our refraction index, which finally gives 237 million meters per second, which is about 63 million meters per second slower than air. Isn't that awesome?